Hey guys, this would be the part two of the lip balm wars. If you want to see the part one, it will be linked in the bottom box below. But we are going to talk about these 10 lip balms in this video, which includes lip balm from many of you guys' favorite brands, such as Plum, Laneige, uh, Yuga, Vasily, Dottingi, and Minimalist. So if you are curious about my thoughts on these lip balms and want to see how these lip balm perform and you want to potentially buy a lip balm after watching this video, so if you are curious about my thoughts on them, then stay tuned. In the previous video of mine, I placed a price bracket of under 200 rupees, but these lip balms comes in various different prices. Most of them cost less than 400 rupees, but there is one such lip balm which is the most expensive in the lips, and that's from Laneige. So yeah, these lip balms are very affordable if you compare the quality, and let's just jump on straight to the video itself. Coming on to the first lip balm, which I was really excited to try, this one is from Fay Beauty, and this is their Soda Pop lip balm. They have this whole range dedicated to soda drinks, or typical Indian drinks that you order. Now this particular one, I believe it is the non-tinted one. And it's called the Ice Cream Pop. It comes in this 10 gram of packaging and costs something about 220 rupees. It has this typical slanted kind of a applicator which sits beautifully on the lips and you can apply it without the needing of spreading it by your fingers. If you talk about the ingredient, it has decent emollients such as pure burma cacao seed butter, shea butter, petrolatum, which are really great emollients. This particular lip balm also comes with sun protection and has, I think, two to three filters. It comes with the SPF rating of 20 plus and a PA rating of only one plus. This is one of the lip balms that does mention its PA rating. Many of the lip balms just mention the SPF rating. But yeah, this does comes with a little bit of PA protection as well. Now it does have fragrance. It's not a so fragrant free formula. It also has a little bit of flavoring. Keeping the whole soda pop range in mind. I personally love this particular lip balm. It would keep your lips moisture for the two to three hour mark after that you do have to reapply it has a little bit of glitter specs which when you apply it on the lips it gives that nice glossy feeling which is similar to the Laneige one but it is a little bit lightweight than Laneige so yeah it's a great one and I would give this 4.5 out of 5 it's a great lip balm highly 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 recommend this one now coming on to the next lip balm which is my boyfriend personal favorite it is his lip balm by the way and I love Laneige lip balm as you guys know this is not the lip sleeping mask this is their lip glowy balm and I chose the shade Gummy Bear similar to his gaming names. I think I gifted this one exactly a year ago or maybe more than that and he is still using it. 70% of it is finished and only 30% is left. I'm not sure but this lip balm lasts quite a lot. If you talk about the pricing however, it costs something about 690 rupees for 10 ml. Expensive I know but it is truly bang for your buck. It has a decent emollient. In fact, the ingredient list is huge but it does pack on good emollient like shea butter and moromo butter and has a lot of synthetic oils which are really great for your lips and keeping the moisture keeps your lips well hydrated and moisturized throughout that three to four hour mark and it also gives this nice glossy finish which is a little bit heavy if you are not a fan of like heavy lip glosses overall it's lightweight and truly bang for your buck highly highly would recommend this five out of five they do come in various different forms of fragrance or flavors and it also does have a little bit of flavoring agent and a fair share of fragrance and coloring so yeah it's a great lip balm would highly recommend this if you are wanting to invest in a Laneige lip balm keep the sleeping mask try this one you won't be disappointed it also comes in this nice slanted applicator which is really nice compared to the sleeping mask from Laneige which you have to stick your finger and then put it on which is kind of a hassle especially for me and I don't really like that type of fact Packaging. So yeah, coming to that type of packaging, we have the plums candy melts and I chose the shade red velvet love. Let's talk about the flavor and the fragrance first because it tastes and smells exactly like a red velvet cake. Yeah, I did taste it and if you talk about the texture, it's super gooey, like nice gel texture. When you apply it on the lips, it is really moisturizing, really hydrating and it also gives a fair share of tint to it. It has a little bit of cherryish tint. They come in non-tinted version as well, but I really love tinted lip balms. If you talk about the pricing, it costs 295 rupees for 12 gram of product. Would highly recommend this lip balm. It's a really nice nourishing lip balm. Has 
has the goodness of cocoa butter, shea butter, and a lot of good emollients that would keep your lips well moisturized throughout the day. I would give this lip balm 4.5 out of 5, just excluding a little bit of marks for the packaging because I don't really like the top packaging. But top packaging are really great if you want to extract the last bit of product. So yeah, it has a little bit of pros and cons. Talking about sleeping mask and lip sleeping mask, we have the Dot and Keys one, and I have the lip plumping sleeping mask. Comes in this cute little packaging, 15 ml of product previously they came in this humongous moisturizer kind of a packaging which they felt it's kind of like not everybody's forte i do still have it i'm not even past 50 percent of it and i use this every single day so yeah that packaging was kind of lame but this particular packaging is really great for something about 295 rupees for 15 ml of product if you talk about the lip balm or the sleeping mask itself it is super nourishing has a little bit of tint to it very subtle not too much super moisturizing for the lips it has really nice emollients such as almond oil it also has sodium ascorbyl phosphate a really nice derivative of vitamin c so overall it's a great lip balm has a little bit of active that is going to help your lips and obviously it keeps your lips moisturized for about like two to three hour mark just as the fave beauty one not sure about the lip sleeping mask capability i do layer on a thick layer especially when i'm going to bed so maybe if you layer a little bit more it would last you that six hour mark throughout the night but overall for the name kind of moisturization it delivers i would give this about four out of five now the next two lip balms are both from Minimalist and you guys highly recommended this particular lip balms in my comment section and you wanted me to try it. So we are going to talk about this. First, we have the LS Corbic Acid 8% Lip Treatment Balm, which also has Radiant Skin, Vitamin E and Glycerin. I've talked about Radiant Skin. It's a mixture of various sterosin inhibitors, which does help to remove the overall pigmentation. Minimalist have used this particular trademarked ingredient in a couple of different products. It comes with 8% of LS Corbic Acid, which is a great 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 pigment corrector helps off fighting out free radicals as well but it doesn't has any kind of spf factor i really wish they would have included a little bit of spf factor because this is a lip treatment balm and people are going to apply this on the daytime as well not many people would buy two separate lip balms this is solely a lip treatment balm it won't moisturize your lips as such but it is kind of a treatment kind of serum for your lips safe enough to be used on your lips it costs something about 399 rupees for 12 gram of product has decent emollient sterosinase inhibitor and will overall help you in achieving that pigment free lips i would give this lip balm an overall rating of four out of five i only wish they include a little bit more emollients making it a more moisturized version and obviously including a little bit of sun protection but yeah if you are looking for a nighttime lip balm this is a great product because in the nighttime you don't require an spf lip balm so for the nighttime this is a great one if you do layer it up with a good lip oil or a lip balm or even vaseline this is a great product coming on to inclusion of spf and lip balms we have the minimalist lip balm spf 30 now this particular lip balm comes in this particular packaging i wish they have made it in a similar kind of packaging because the top packaging is kind of a little bit yeah, according to me but it does packs in a goodness of hyaluronic acid ceramides and has a lot more emollients compared to the other lip balm cost something about 299 rupees for 8 gram of product and it is a tested lip balm unlike any other lip balms that i have found it comes with the spf rating of 30 and it is tested so it's a great thing if you talk about the moisturization it gives you a solid moisturization for 2 to 2.5 hours but after 2 hours you have to apply any kind of lip balm or especially sunscreen it's not a bad thing that it doesn't gives you that 4 hour of moisturization to be honest and you are reminded to keep applying and reapplying your lip balm and your sunscreen every time you are reapplying sunscreen obviously reapply your lip balm that is something that would help you in a long run you talk about the moisturization over the actives and the price range i would give this a five out of five it being tested gives you enough moisturization and it's a pretty decent lip balm by the way both of these products are fragrance free as, as any of the minimalist products are which is a great thing and if you are a fragrance free lover these products are for you coming on to the next lip balm which is from ayuga which comes in this beautiful rose gold packaging this is a non-tinted lip balm but does has a little bit of orangish tint to it which goes with the overall sandalwood and this herbal theme that Ayuga is all about. This has a similar kind of fragrance as most of the Ayuga's products. It has chandanam or sandalwood in it, which is a great skin soother. Apart from that, it also has fatty acids, which are really great, such as oleic and linoleic acid. And I was really amazed with the ingredient list. It also has rose petals and a couple of other herbal ingredients that Ayuga is known for. If you talk about the moisturization, it does keep your lips moisturized for that three to four hour mark, which is great. And I will absolutely 
absolutely recommend this product. But the shady thing is that it mentioned it has 5% of kumkumadi, but in the ingredient list, it is mentioned it has 10% of it. So the overall like ingredient to the person who is designing the website, I think brand should really work on to that because consumer nowadays are not fooled. So yeah, apart from that, I would give this lip balm four out of five just excluding a little bit of marks from that overall misinformation in their website it costs something about 249 rupees for four gram of product overall it's a great product packaging is nice the overall ingredient list and the lip balm is pretty great but the website description can misguide the product and can make overall rating go down so yeah pretty recent. Coming on to the next particular lip balm which is the Vaseline's Lip Therapy. Now I have mentioned the most affordable Vaseline lip balm in my previous lip balm board and that one was a clear winner. So as this one, Vaseline makes the best lip balm. Now in terms of emollients, Vaseline does include petrolatum jelly or petrolatum which is a great emollient, great occlusive and I am in love with it. I have the non-tinted version. They do come in various different variant which includes a rose tinted one which is my favorite one and this particular lip balm is really Really, really really moisturizing it keeps your lips well moisturized for the three to four hour mark which is really great it costs about 249 rupees for 17 gram truly bang for your buck highly highly would recommend this particular lip balm from vaseline it comes in this nice thin packaging which is kind of like a eh but it looks cute and overall the product is pretty great and i would give this product a five out of five Coming on the second last lip balm, which is from Mike Lemon. This is their LIT PH lip balm. Now, I wasn't like really looking into that wow factor from Mike Glam products because my glam products really disappoint me they are affordable they are really great but overall the product quality is kind of like not that great but the lip balm however oh my god i was really impressed now they do come in non-tinted and tinted version as well i have this amazing orangish one and i love it this was the most moisturizing lip balm compared to all of the lip balms that i mentioned even in the part one one this keeps my lips moisturized for a solid five hours which is really great it costs something about 189 rupees for i believe four gram of product great lip balm you talk about the pricing packaging the only problem is it is not available everywhere and all the time it has ingredients like petrolatum like any other good lip balm petrolatum is an ingredient that i found it is present in most good lip balms and it has carrot seed oil vitamin e which is really great for your lips and overall i would give this five out of five hands down i think the best lip balm i have found in that under 200 rupees criteria last but not the least i have the arata's lip balm it costs 249 rupees for 10 gram of product comes in this tub packaging and i am not a huge fan of it it has a really good emollients let me tell you it has really good occlusive and emollients oils that are really great for your lips but it is not at all like user friendly the wearability of it is really bad it does moisturize your lips but it feels very heavy and sticky on your lips which is not something that i am looking for and i'm not that fan of this particular lip balm but if you have dry lips you might like it pair it with a good lip oil this might be a great lip sleeping mask but for a day-to-day -day use i don't see myself really using this so i would give this lip balm three out of five not that great but the ingredient list is really great so yeah this was my lip balm wars part two let me know your thoughts in the comment box below if you want to see the part one the link would be right here or in the bottom box below including all of the products that i mentioned like this video if you like my content share this video to any of your friends and lastly subscribe to this channel hit on that bell notification and i will see you in the next video so bye bye and take care